Hello, wonderful queers and gedans. My name is Kerry Reinke and I'm the co-chair of the LGBTI intergroup in the European Parliament. And I'm so sad that I cannot be with you walking in the streets, standing up for equality, freedom and diversity this year. But I hope that in the future uh, I will manage to come and that we can be together also in person standing up uh, for our fundamental rights. And the first thing I wanted to say, because it is so important and I cannot repeat it enough, um, especially uh, for all of you who have probably been in a very difficult situation over these past months and years facing all these repressions, threats uh, and attacks, um, that not only on my behalf, but on behalf really of hundreds of colleagues from the European Parliament, but also from the queer community in Europe, from allies from all across Europe, a very, very big thank you so much for all that you are doing, for all the work, for all the determination and all the energy that you put into this struggle. Because you have been a true inspiration for queers from across Europe, uh, standing up uh, against difficulties, standing up against attacks on our rights. Uh, and without your work on the ground, with all, without all that you are doing, um, our work in the European Parliament um, would basically be meaningless, would not exist. So really, all the effort that you have put into this, it is changing the world. Uh, it is really making a very big difference for the queer community all across Europe. And they're sending so much love and solidarity to all of you. And I think that this work uh, and this determination had, has at least partly already paid off because you know that finally, finally, after asking for it for many years, uh, the European Commission has started infringement procedures against Poland, more specifically on the basis of uh, the so-called LGBTI ideology free zones. The European Parliament had already been pushing for this before, but now finally we see not only words and concerns, but actual political action against um, the, these attacks on the queer community. And I think it might only be a first step, but you know, every journey starts with a first step. And that is why it's so important. And this would not have been possible without the work that you have put into this. So also for this, thank you so, so much. And as you know, in March, we have declared the European Union an LGBTIQ freedom zone in the European Parliament, not because we believe uh, that the queer community um, is already living in a, in a freedom zone right now. We know uh, of all the attacks, all the difficulties that the queer community is still facing today, especially, but not only in Poland. Um, but we wanted to do it anyway to make this a promise, to make this a pledge to the queer community all across the EU that we will do everything we can to make this a reality. And this is why I wanted to tell you that if there is anything that we can do from the European Parliament, please do let us know because we will always stand with you. You are never alone. Because when they attack one of us, the Polish government, the Hungarian government, any other government, any other political force, they attack all of us. And this is why we stand together in the face uh, of these difficulties and uh, we will always be there by your side. I'm very, very sad that I cannot be with you in this pride, but I hope that uh, in the future, obviously, we will walk together because we are not an ideology, we are human beings uh, and we have human rights. We want to have, we want to enjoy these human rights. And uh, I hope that if we continue to work together, that we can make this a reality very, very soon for all the queer community in Europe and obviously, especially also in Poland. Happy Pride, everyone, and I hope to meet all of you very soon.